In today's lesson, we are still looking at people of different zones. Today, our focus will be on the frigid zones. Remember the frigid zones? Those areas very close to the poles, the northern pole and the southern pole. So this is the frigid zone we are focusing on. We get up to the Arctic areas where it is even colder colder than the temperate zone. We see original people like the Inuit. These are the people that first lived here at the frigid zone. Their eyes have a unique future. They open only a bit and having heavy lids to protect the eyes from the blinding glare of the sun shining on snow. Look at their housing. These people also follow herds of animals for periods of time. When the weather was warm enough, they would build their homes from sod, which are blocks or strips cut from the first few inches of thawed earth. In the winter, they would build their houses out of snow and ice. They would use the sod like bricks to build their houses and they constructed rounded roofs to withstand the blowing winds. See the roof? It's rounded. In order to keep out the cold and the wind, they didn't have windows or doors at all. And look at how the entrance is. It's a long tunnel. You just have to crouch down and almost crawl through. Why do you think the entrance is like this? It is to keep out wind and cold. Remember when we talked about the frigid zone? Do you think the people there could grow fruits and vegetables and grains? Do you think they can do all this? No, I don't think so. I don't think they can do all this for food. The original peoples depended on game, on the animals that migrated in that area and upon fish. You can see here, this look like a reindeer and fish. They also used the skins from the animals to make their clothing. It was the best to keep them warm. So the skin they get from this, they use for their clothing. The fur and the animal skin will protect the people from the wind and cold and fur is very soft. I'm sure you know that. So it's now your own turn to get more information on how people who live here, the frigid zone, have adapted to the conditions of that zone in order to survive. 